I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast, For the Health of It, episode 50. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today about options for pain control. Different therapies that you may not understand what they are, so I want you to understand what's out there so that you can make an educated choice. So I I, I want to talk about breathing exercises because the body needs oxygen. And if your stomach is pushed up against your diaphragm, we said you might have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas bloating, we may need to pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm, physically move the stomach. And in so many cases, that helps with breathing, that helps with snoring, it helps with sleep apnea. It's just incredible. From a, phys- from a mechanical standpoint, the, the diaphragm is able to go up and down and breathe better. Your stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. Now, the amino acids are then absorbed into the blood system, and they go to the liver and they get sent all over the body and they make eye tissue and blood tissue and toenails, and whatever else you need. But if the proteins are not being de- broken down properly, they pass into the small intestine partially digested. Where there, they can irritate the small intestine and literally tear holes in the small intestine. It's called leaky gut syndrome. And then these big chunks of protein can get absorbed into your blood system and the immune system attacks them and that can cause an inflammatory response and that can increase your pain. So, so many times when patients come to us, chronic pain patients or acute pain patients, we always check their digestive system because A, we want you breaking down your food more efficiently, but B, we want to calm down that immune system reaction, bring down that swelling. And in most cases, we're very successful at it. Then we want to get the body a little more alkaline. If you have an acid diet, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, I know it sounds like everybody, We call those the seven deadly sins in nutrition, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. So what happens is if you're eating an acid diet, that can irritate the nerves as well. So we want to get you on an alkaline diet, more vegetables, some fruit, maybe some nuts and seeds. Plant-based diet really is ideal. Excuse me. Wow. Voice got a little high there. Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source are excellent for alkalizing the system because you need a high amount of minerals to neutralize the acids. And the super greens, the essential source, are just off the chart as far as that goes. So again, the minimum amount of nutrients. If you're not willing to do anything else, at least take the super greens, the essential source. And today we're talking about pain patients. They're very happy usually when they start taking it, but that's only a piece of the puzzle. We may have to fix the stomach. The stomach comes down so you can breathe better. You might want to consider Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support to open up your blood blood supply. And when I say that, it opens up blood supply to your brain, your arms, your legs, your uh, reproductive organs, trying to keep it clean. It's a family show. But let me tell you something, that stuff works wonders. And that's one of the reasons as we get older, our libido drops because we don't have the circulation that we used to. The hormones control it as well, but so does the circulation. So by taking something like the nitric oxide, opening up your blood vessels, eh, most people are pretty happy with the results. And then I would also add Dr. Joe's adrenal support to help with the reproductive organs. The adrenal glands produce your sex hormones. So the adrenals would be important there too. But the breathing is so important and the breathing might be being blocked mechanically. And then if you are eating things like dairy and wheat, those things cause a lot of mucus. And so if you're getting a lot of mucus built up in the body, that can clog up your breathing apparatus. So it's pretty important to get the mucus out of the system. So you do multiple things. You get the bad food out of the diet, the wheat and the dairy products and the seven deadly sins, brings down the mucus. We pull the stomach away from the diaphragm and get you on some supplements to increase circulation. We check the spine because the nervous system controls everything. So pinched nerves going to organs can be problems. And so now we're not just addressing the pinched nerve in your neck or whatever it is. We're addressing all the other factors that could be influencing the level of your pain. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? It's kind of neat. So breathing is important to make sure you're getting enough oxygen into the body. Chiropractic care, of course, I talk about that constantly. Uh, That really is a no-brainer to me when it comes to a a therapy for pain. I can't imagine uh, not considering chiropractic as part of your regimen for your treatment plan. Many people use it as their only regimen, and it works pretty well. But we co-manage cases all the time. We have psychiatrists send us patients, psychologists, because they heard my shows, 
And they know that if the stomach isn't breaking proteins into amino acids, the amino acids become neurotransmitters in the brain. Tyrosine becomes uh, serotonin, uh, dope, uh, tr- no, tyrosine becomes dopamine, tryptophan becomes serotonin, glutamine becomes GABA, if you understand all these neurotransmitter words, but it makes the brain work. So every single patient I've ever seen in the 34 years I've been seeing patients, probably more than that, even in my schooling, if there's an emotional component, anxiety, depression, bipolar, even suicidal, I always find an undiagnosed or certainly untreated digestive component. Now, is that the only cause? Not necessarily. But if we can get the stomach breaking proteins into amino acids to produce the neurotransmitters, the brain has an opportunity to essentially reboot itself and start working again. And that's why I'm I'm such a big fan of proper nutrition, proper physical health when it comes to mental health. And even the Super Greens, the essential source, I get reports all the time. People say, doc, this stuff's amazing. I feel great. I have so much more energy. I'm so much calmer. I'm able to deal with my stress at work because most of us are so depleted in nutrition. The soil has been depleted in the past 30, 40 years. We're eating so many more processed food, man-made foods, packaged foods. And so you get back to the core, the basics, the fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, powdered super greens, powdered essential source, scoop of each, mix it up with some coconut milk, almond milk, you do it with water, drink it at least once a day. I have it here in the studio with me. I have it at least once a day. Now, if I have a big day, if I've got a hot date, if I'm going hiking, if I'm going to do a lot of hard, uh, yard work, maybe I have a bunch of radio shows and TV shows I got to film. I'll take a double dose, even a triple dose sometimes. So stuff's pretty amazing. So in conjunction with all the therapies we're talking about, we've got to make sure you're getting the chemical aspects right. And that's why we talk about supplements. We talk about a good diet. And that helps tremendously without pain patients. It's not just one therapy. We use a conjunction with other therapies to get the patient well. Hot and cold pack, simply use. They're good for pain control tools. Been used forever. Heat, back aches, arthritis, uh, long, long-term muscle aches. Heat might be a good choice. I'm not a big fan of heat, by the way. I'll, I'll, I'll preface by saying that. I'd rather use ice than heat if I can. Now, if you're going to use heat, there's certain types of heat I want you to use. Moist heat being the right kind. So warm baths, steam, hot showers, uh, 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 hot water bottles. I don't recommend electric heating pads. And the reason is your body is an electrical field. How do, you, how do you think we work? How do you think my fingers move and my, my eyes blink, my hair grows? The brain is producing electrical impulses that carry along the nerves that make the body work. So if you don't have the proper, or if you mess with the electrical field, it's a problem. And if you, if you ever come to my live lectures, go to my website, by the way, too, folks. And I want you to check out the, uh, my lecture schedule. I, I do a few live lectures, not as many as I used to, but the live lectures are a blast. So you can always watch them on my website, drjoe.com. We have over a thousand hours of podcasts. If you're on uh, Google Play or uh, iTunes, I think it's iTunes. Yeah, you can, you can look up our podcast. It's called For the Health of It. And For the Health of It is uh, two half-hour segments. We release a half hour every week. And that's another way you can do it too. And the website has well over a thousand hours of audio, video. It's really cool stuff. And one of the tests I do to show you how electricity affects your body is I'll have somebody come up from the audience and I'll take their cell phone away from them. Of course, they get nervous. And I'll just, I'll put the cell phone down and I'll push against one of their muscles, any muscle, usually the arm and it's strong. Then I'll have them hold the cell phone just next to their body. Instantly, every muscle in their body goes weak. And it's very dog and pony. It's very impressive to see, but it really gives you an impact. So if you're a pain patient, we're talking about pain options today. I'm going to go back to heating pads in a second. Is don't carry your cell phone. Certainly don't carry it near your area of pain. I can't tell you how many patients over the years, I got hip pain. Where do you put your cell phone? My right hip. Where's your pain? Right hip. Take the cell phone out. They take it out. We treat them chiropractically. We get their diet straightened out. In a day or two, they're like, Doc, you guys are amazing. You guys are the best chiropractors in the world. Well, I'd like to think that. Yeah. However, it's because the adjustments now are holding better because you're not putting the cell phone there to short circuit that area. It's called electromagnetic frequencies. Almost everything I've talked about in the past 35 years in my lectures and my research, if it's not popular yet, has come to fruition. Even being a, a vegan. I've been a vegan now for 34 years. I'm not asking you to do that, but you should, by the way. Um, and and it, was, it was grass and bark and trees and hippies did it. And it was, uh, you know, the, you had to drive a Volkswagen bug. Now the number one food trend this year and predicted to be next year is a plant-based diet. Guess what? 
Dr. Joe is right. We put that in the Dr. Joe is right column. That's a very long column, by the way. So I'm talking about electromagnetic frequencies have been for years. Promise you it's going to become mainstream very soon. It's already mainstream. We're talking about it on the show, right? So electrical heating pads, not a big fan. Electric blankets, not a big fan. Electric bed warmers, not a big fan. We don't want to wrap electricity around our body. We had a patient the other day and she has an exercise watch. One of those things that monitors everything you do, I think. And her, we couldn't get her shoulder and arm to hold its adjustment. Couldn't figure it out. So one of my doctors brought, brought me in and said, what do you think? And I said, take off your blank blank, your watch. And she did. And I tested her muscles and she was strong. And I put the watch on her again and bam, every muscle in her body blew out. And she just looked at us. She said, but I love my exercise watch. And I said, I know you do. Do me a favor, stop wearing it for a, a week or two and let's see if it feels better. Within a day, she called the office. Doc, Dr. Joe, you guys are amazing. I had Dr. Cat adjust my shoulder. And since then, I haven't had any problems. So what about doctors, Dr. Catherine, Dr. Cat? And um, it's pretty cool. So you, you, we always try to look for what other alternatives are there to dealing with your pain. And are you doing something that might be making it worse? So heating pads, like I said, hot showers, wet towels work well. If you still have a microwave oven, I wish you didn't, but if you do, um, take a wet towel. Don't put a dry towel in a microwave. Wet towel, put it in a microwave, heat it up for maybe 10, 20 seconds. You can use that on your area of pain as a hot towel. Or you can just dip it in hot water, which is another option. So heat is good, uh, but you may have to experiment a little bit. Because if you put heat on it, it makes it worse, then you don't have a good situation. I did this uh, a while ago, actually. I did some moving some tiles around in my house because I think I'm still young. And I moved the tiles around and my back was sore. And I said, well, let me just, you know, take a nice hot bath and that'll help it. And the next morning, I literally couldn't move. I, I physically couldn't move. And I, I didn't know what to do. Anything I did, I was screaming in pain. The pain was just unbear unbearable. So I called a friend of mine and then I called a, a friend of mine who's uh, him and his wife. His, his wife's a medical doctor, a pain management doctor that I refer patients to. And I said, I need help. So she called in a prescription for me and another friend of mine went and picked it up and I took the prescription. I was able to move again. And then I realized, okay, that hot bath was not the best choice. So I experimented and it was bad. And luckily it was a weekend too. Luckily I got a hold of her and, um, and she saved me. So once again, I'm not against drugs and I'm not against surgery. If you need them, take them. But what if there were options as well? Because then of course, every time I see her now, she goes, you get adjusted? I said, yeah, I got adjusted. Stop busting my chops here, you know. So, um, yeah, so she makes fun of me because she, you know, obviously knew that I messed up. So, so you may have to experiment. A cold, again, is usually safe. Uh, ice is, uh, ice is, is, is good. Heat is not always safe. It can bring down swelling. Sometimes they say, you know, first two or three days you can use ice. If I have acute pain, if I do something like, for example, if for some reason I'm exposed to caffeine, I get a headache, I'll use ice on the area. Don't use ice for more than 20 minutes. You want to do 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. You can then experiment with rotating. Ice pack for 20 minutes, hot pack for 20 minutes. And again, sometimes it's a hard call. You have to figure out what's going to work best for you. Now with ice, you can do something called an ice massage, which is kind of cool. Um, just take a, like a, a little, little, little small cup full of ice or an ice cube and just rub it in a clockwise circle around the area. Now, this is interesting. I, years ago, I studied with truly who I believe is the greatest chiropractor ever, ever, to ever live. His name is Bertrand Desjardins, Dr. Desjardins. And he developed something called sacro-occipital technique. Now, Dr. Desjardins, fascinating man, and I was so honored to study with him. Uh, he was an engineer, and there was an explosion at his plant. Everybody died but him. And he went to an osteopath. We talked about osteopathy before. And it was helping, but it wasn't getting deep enough. It wasn't holding the adjustments, he called it. So then he went to chiropractic school, became a chiropractor. And in the meantime, he became a radiologist as well. Um, and so he was an engineer, an osteopath, Chiropract he became an osteopath and a chiropractor and a radiologist. And he even invented color film. The reason we have color film is Dr. Bertrand Desjardins. When he was an osteopath, he found that certain colors would calm people down. Again, alternative therapies for pain. And he created what was called a pain wheel. And he'd spin the wheel, it had colors on it, and would help people calm down when they were in pain. And so he took that concept and he sold it to a small company called Kodak, which was the, then developed into color film. I digress. But Dr. Desjardins said, uh, always do everything in a clockwise motion in the body. And he used to walk clockwise around the table when he adjusts his patients. And I talked to him one day. I said, Dr. Desjardins, why do you walk? Why, why should I walk clockwise around the table? And he's a wise guy. He said, 
young man, you should walk clockwise around a table because I walk clockwise around a table. And he punched me in the arm and he smiled. And I understood what he was saying because counterclockwise can actually mess up the electrical flow in the body. I know it sounds airy-fairy and woo-woo and everything like that, but it works. And I've done this in lectures before. I'll walk clockwise around a patient standing up, you know, pull somebody out of the audience and I'll push on their muscles and they'll be strong. Then I'll not touch them, walk counterclockwise around the patient, their muscles go weak. So do I understand everything of why it works? No, I don't, but I know it does. And that's why if you can do ice massage, back to that, you always want to go in a clockwise motion, not a counterclockwise motion. Because Dr. Dijonet said so, he's passed since, you know, since then. Uh, but I do it because he did it and he's my hero. So I'm going to do what my hero said. So folks, we're talking about options for pain management today, uh, options for pain control. And of course, as a chiropractor, I always say chiropractic should be part of that protocol. So if you'd like to make a pay, uh, an appointment to come see us, you can go to my website, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. And my team of doctors would love the opportunity to work with you and see if there's anything we can do from a physical standpoint. Maybe your stomach is up against your diaphragm. You're not getting the right oxygenation. Maybe you have a shoulder out of place, a hip out of place, a foot out of place. Sprained an ankle a couple of months ago. I was uh, up in North Carolina going for a hike and I sprained my ankle pretty bad. And for weeks, I was thinking, you know, it's kind of hurt. So I grabbed one of my docs. They checked it out. Sure enough, I'd pop one of my foot, foot bones out of place. They adjusted it back in place. Dr. Irwin felt great. Not only did it feel great, but now my body re restored normal balance. So I was able to stand better, walk better, and that's going to affect every aspect of my life. So you, we can adjust any part of the body, by the way. It's 206 bones in the body. So if you'd like to come see us, we would love to see you. Go to my website, drjoe.com, set it up. If you have questions about your insurance coverage, about cash paying, we have uh, payment options. We'll do whatever we can within reason to get you under care. We really will. And in the Atlanta area, we said our offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. So we're talking today about pain control options, different therapies that might be available. Weight loss is huge, no pun intended, because when you put stress on your body, that can cause problems. So you want to make sure you take the stress off your joints and you want, I think, is it one pound? For every one pound you're overweight equates to three pounds of stress on your hip, three or five pounds. I can't remember the research. But one pound could be three or five pounds of stress on your hip. So it's really important. We do something at the office that's called the Doctor Supervised Weight Loss Program. And we put you on a 21-day intensive protocol. We give you out supplements and shakes to drink and fiber and get you eating the right foods. We have a menu all laid out, even if it's not all plant-based, by the way. We do have animal products in there if you eat animal products. And we do your 21-day kickoff. And one of my secretaries, we just finished it. I did it too with my staff. I lost just a few pounds. She lost, I think, 20 pounds. And she said, Dr. Joe, I've been overweight all my life. I've done every weight loss protocol, scam, pill, diet, whatever it is. She goes, this wasn't even work. She goes, I feel so good. I've lost a ton of weight. I feel great. She goes, and that's the thing is I'm giving her supplements. Everybody supplements with it. So they feel wonderful. And we always add the super greens, the essential source as well. And they're like, that's it. That's all it takes to lose weight. It's not hard. It's usually pretty easy. And then you just continue on eating the right foods. So weight loss is a big uh, issue when it comes to pain control. So if you're having problems losing weight, and I used to be extremely overweight, by the way, I used to fill out this, this real loose skin I have. I have stretch marks all over my chest, the back of my legs. So I totally get being fat. So when people say, well, you're skinny, you don't need to lose weight. I struggle. I still have to remember what, it, what you have to do to stay thin. And we'd love to work with you. And that helps tremendously with our pain patients. Because again, if we give them the best chiropractic care in the world, if they have the best surgery in the world, they have the best medication in the world, that's all well and good. But if they're putting the stress right back on a joint, it comes right back again. So we really want to try to get you under control uh, from all aspects. Capsaicin, this is an ingredient in cayenne pepper. And it's, it's interesting because it's, you can apply, you can buy capsaicin creams, you can make your own. You can make your own with like an olive oil or coconut oil with some red pepper in it, some cayenne pepper, and just rub it on the area, okay? There's this, the capsaicin limits something called substance P. Substance P is produced and that can cause pain. So regular use of a capsaicin cream can help reduce the production of substance P, which can help reduce your pain. So if you put it on one time and you go, ah, it didn't help. You may have to use it over and over again until it actually gets the chemical reaction to start reducing the substance P, which is kind of cool. So now we're messing with chemistry and pain. Uh, ginger 
is great for that. Pineapple juice, papaya juice. Now be careful with pineapples because sometimes, myself included, if you eat pineapple, it has an enzyme in it that helps dissolve proteins, bromelain. And that's great because if you have inflammation, if you have a swollen disc, if you have uh, uh, inflammation from working out, the bromelain can help break down the swelling. And uh, papaya has papain in it. And those are all great. But the bromelain and the other enzymes can actually dissolve the flesh inside your mouth. I know if you're like me, if you eat pineapple, it kind of makes your mouth raw. That's why. So you can take bromelain and papain supplements if you wanted to. And if you, I mean, I'm, I eat a couple of pieces of pineapple. I love it. But if it irritates your mouth, just understand that's why. It's dissolving protein, which is what's supposed to do and help with inflammation, but it can happen in your mouth. Ginger, excellent. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. What I do in the winter, not so much in the summer, because in the summer I drink cold teas, but in the winter, I'll take uh, ginger, organic ginger, scrub it down a little bit just to clean it up and put it in a food processor with some lemon juice. I covered about one third, maybe one half with organic lemon juice and I puree it. Now, when you puree it, it's got to have the consistency of like pizza sauce, like puree. And then I put it in an ice cube tray and freeze it. And in the winter, almost every morning, I'll just pop out an ice cube of ginger with lemon, pop it in some hot water, add a little stevia if you want it sweet, and then drink it. It's anti-inflammatory. It's stimulating. It really warms you to the core. It's also an aphrodisiac, so be careful. I don't want to get blamed for anything because you ate too much ginger. But ginger is awesome. Turmeric. Everybody always asks about turmeric. Turmeric is wonderful. It, um, it helps reduce inflammation. It's been researched now for cancer patients. It has a component called curcumin. And turmeric is great. Now, I used to get compost from these different health food stores and I throw it into my garden. And a couple of years ago, I had these beautiful long leaves come up and they, they started growing some beautiful flowers. I had no idea what they were. So I tried pulling them out of my garden because it was kind of taking up my space for my other vegetables. And when I pulled it up, I realized it was turmeric. There must have been turmeric root in one of the composts. I threw it in there and the turmeric took root. And it grows like a weed. It has rhizoids. It grows underground and it pops up these leaves. And I, it's amazing. So if you want to have some really pretty uh, foliage in your garden or even in front of your house or whatever, um, you can grow some turmeric, take some root that you bought and plant it. And it looks great. And then whenever you need turmeric, pop it out of the ground and you could use it. Uh, turmeric is great. Uh, it's, it'll stain things, so be careful. It has a lot of antioxidants in it and that yellow can stain things. And it's, it has a little strong taste to it, but you can try the turmeric as well and it's, you can take pills for it as well. Another thing, gosh, I'm running out of time. Oh, I've got so much more to cover. Uh, massage. Massage is awesome to work with the muscles and we work with a lot of massage therapists that send us patients because they understand if they give the best massage in the world, it might relax the muscles, but if the bones are still out of place, we got to put the bones back in place to unpinch the nerves because the nerves control the muscles. And so we can relax the muscle. If you still have a pinched nerve, the muscle is going to spasm right back up again. So we work a lot with massage therapists. Uh, there's different styles of massage. Um, you can do Reiki, which is like energy balancing. You can do deep tissue massage, which can hurt. Rolfing, if you've had rolfing done, the concept is you want to tear up the fascia that's been spasmed. The fascia is the... A connective tissue. If you ever cut open a piece of chicken and the white slimy stuff that connects the muscles together, that's called fascia. And you can get in there and break up scar tissue in the fascia and it hurts like a son of a gun, but boy, does it work. So there's other options as well. And that's why all of them work well in conjunction. They work better if you use chiropractic care with it because chiropractic is the only one that unpinches the nerves. Physical therapy, awesome. I support physical therapy 100%. And we work closely with physical therapists because we put the bones back in place. They strengthen the muscles, stretch the muscles, and we work together. Years ago, we didn't like each other as, a profession, as professions. Now we realize that we can all help each other. And that's really kind of cool. And that's why if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, arm pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, I do recommend you come see us. And let's see if we can get to the cause of the problem and not just treat the symptoms. And then we'll do a nutritional workup with you. We'll make sure you're eating the good foods, the anti-inflammatory foods. At least, folks, get the Dr. Joe Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're available on my website, drjoe.com. And we can get those shipped out to you if you want to come pick them up and save shipping. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We'll do whatever we can, within reason, to help get you well. So you have to have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. The nitric oxide, great for circulation. 
Uh, the adrenal support, great for hormones and anti-inflammatories. The adrenals produce prostaglandins. They produce DHEA, which becomes your sex hormones, builds up testosterone, keeps the muscles strong. Uh, B vitamins, many, many, many folks are deficient in B vitamins. Personally, I take Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Dr. Joe's B Complex, Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support, and the nitric oxide every single day. That's part of my nutritional protocol, along with a good diet. So folks, I'm almost out of time. If you want to make an appointment, please stop suffering needlessly. Stop waiting. Go to my website, drjoe.com. You can set up an appointment to come see us. You can order the supplements. If you have questions, send them to me through the website. I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern time on wsbradio.com and on a WSB Radio app.